Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to show you how I used to make Dian's pureed baby food. This is for stage one, so it's when baby is six to eight months old, and that is because it is very, very smooth puree. So to start off with, you need to grab your vegetables. I like to purchase these vegetable medleys. You can get them from any supermarket. They have a mixture of broccoli, carrots and cauliflower in small quantities, which is the perfect amount for us. They do have cooking instructions on the back here. Um, if you can just see under the microwave section, there is a steam section and it says to steam between seven to nine minutes. Before I give my vegetables a wash, I'm going to turn the kettle on so that the water is nice and hot and ready to use for us to cook with because it will take a lot longer for the water to heat up on the hob. So these little colanders are actually from the steamer itself. I've got the carrots, so I'm going to wash those first and then I'm going to give the broccoli and cauliflower a wash too. I've got them in the same colander but I am going to blend them separately. Now that the vegetables are washed and the kettle is ready we are going to turn on the hob. So I'm just going to put it on a medium flame on a medium ring and we are going to put the steamer pot on first, fill it up with the boiling water and then I'm going to put on both tiers of the steamer. So my cauliflower and broccoli are going on first and then my carrots on top. When I've put the lid on, I just make sure that I've twisted it so that the air is able to escape and that way the vegetables are able to steam properly. And that's it. So we're going to leave the steamer to do its job and we're going to come back and check it in about seven to nine minutes. Okay, so now that seven to nine minutes have passed, I'm just going to take the lid off of the steamer. You can see it's quite hot and I'm going to grab a fork and give my carrots a poke just to check that they have cooked through. They are nice and soft. These seem absolutely fine. The cauliflower and broccoli are also fine. So I'm just going to turn the hob off and put my vegetables to one side so that they can cool down. After about an hour or two, once the vegetables have cooled down quite a bit and they are easier to handle, I'm going to blend the vegetables. So I've got the Breville blender, which is great for small quantities of food. So I'm going to put my vegetables into the blender one at a time and I'm going to add milk so that it makes a really nice smooth consistency. This could be whole milk, it could be baby formula or it could be water. I used whole milk in this video. It's absolutely fine to use it when you are mixing it with food but please don't give it to your baby on its own. And then I'm going to put the lid on and give that a blend. Once it's blended, I'm going to grab some bowls and empty the puree out into a bowl so I can see how much we've got. And as you can see here, all three are really, really smooth. Because I didn't have much of the broccoli, I decided to feed the and the broccoli. So I've just put that to one side and we are going to put the cauliflower and carrots into ice cube trays for freezing. And then when they are full, they are ready to go in the freezer. And then the next morning, I'm going to take them out of the freezer and put them in these food bags. We got ours from Poundland, I think it was. They were very cheap. And I'm going to label them with a Sharpie saying what is in there and the date that they were made. Because you don't want to be feeding your baby anything from the freezer that is more than a month old. So this way, I can track exactly how long it's been in the freezer for. And then when the ant is ready for a feed, I would take out a couple of cubes. In this video, I've taken out a mixture of two carrot cubes and two cauliflower cubes. When baby is very young and trying out first foods, you don't really want to mix your flavours so that you can test for allergies. But when they've had a couple of different foods already and you know they're not allergic to either of them, you can start mixing. So here you can see I've mixed two carrot cubes with two cauliflower cubes. Um, for the Ann as he doesn't have an allergy to either. I'm going to pop them in the microwave to heat them up and then once they are ready they do leak quite a bit of water so I'm just going to drain that water out so it becomes a thicker texture and then I'm going to give that a mix just to mix them together and that is ready for the Ann to eat. So that is it guys, that's how I used to make 
stage one food for Dian. I'm still making his baby food. I steamed them exactly the same way, but I mashed them with a fork instead of blending them. But yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave any comments down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye.